What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a baffled oil catch can on my 2021 ST Ford Explorer. All right, so what we got in the box, we got probably uh, some instructions here. It looks like an air filter. Uh, we've got the 2020 plus Ford Explorer ST catch can bracket. This is the mounting points to actually hold the actual catch can. Mishimoto direct to uh, see, assemble direct fit two port catch can. This is the actual aluminum catch can in the box. A uh, little bag of hardware. Two piece M16 by 1.5 half inch aluminum catch can fittings in black. Again, a couple of machine parts. 2020 plus Ford Explorer ST catch can hoses. So these are the hose lines. They've got the factory style uh, connectors on the end. Uh, everything comes nice and packaged, nice and pretty. They did a really good job about packaging. It's not just parts thrown into a box to jiggle around. So um, it will be going on this vehicle here. This is our 2021 ST Ford Explorer. I got the old Bronco and the new Bronco back there, but this is the one we're gonna be working on today. This will be the first mod I've done to this. Um, and again, I will go over why you would need to add this or you know possibly add it to this vehicle these are uh you know these eco boosts are great engines they're direct injection direct injection sorry but they uh can have you know a little bit of blow by that could potentially foul the oil and just rob some power so this eliminates that so let's get after the install Okay, so looking at the instructions, first step, remove the factory PCV hose that connects the intake manifold to PCV valve on passenger side valve cover by pushing outward on blue tab on each side and pulling the hose away from motor. All right, step two is install the two nut clips on the passenger side of the fan shroud, which are gonna be right here in the front, right here and there. Again, in relation to the front of the car. So these are just gonna slide on just like that. Number one. Number two, and they snapped in place. So that's one, two, that's step two. All right, let's go to step three. So we'll get the bracket here, bolt, ratchet, 10 millimeter. Boom, boom, boom. Put all my hardware up here. Alright, so this is going to go just like that. So you're going to take your catch can bracket, again, in relation to the car, slide it just like so. I'm going to put you guys down so I can put the bolts in. Alright, so the hardware is in. Just got to get it tightened up. Again, you don't want to crazy tighten this down because it's mounted to plastic. You don't want to crack the plastic, then you are screwed. So just like a little poop. So there's our catch can bracket at step three. Step four. So we'll come over here. We're gonna remove these three. Find one that's small enough. All right, that's one. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna grab our hardware, grab our can. Come back over here to the bracket. And before we put this in, I'm going to go ahead and install the two fittings. So again, these two fittings that came with the kit, right here. This is gonna thread those in like so. You don't need to seal them because they've already got rubber O-rings on them. Uh, you know what, actually I'm gonna put a little Loctite on there though. And I'm gonna do that. Just one little drop of blue Loctite. Nothing crazy. It doesn't suggest to do that, but just a little extra measurement of uh, security so these don't back out. that and then just a little ump a little ump all right that's good and tight okay now we'll come back over here and I'll kind of back and forth okay so the orientation that they want this thing to be mounted is facing away so it's gonna go it's gonna come in like this from the bottom so that's how it's going to be mounted you know you don't want to face it what physically can't go anyway in other words don't put it backwards you know it's only going to go in two different ways and the way that it's got to go is like that last thing i want is anything coming out over time boom one two three there you go the can is physically mounted now so let's go to step four what's step four step five you can't see this but i'm reading it take the longer hose with the 45 degree fitting on the end and connect it to the fitting on the side of the intake manifold then route the hose underneath the intake tube connect to the out fitting on the catch can and secure with hose clamp Verify that the hose is not rubbing on the intake tube. You may need to loosen the hose clamp then rotate the hose on the fitting to make sure that it is uh, it has clearance away from the intake hose. Okay, so the longer hose come over here. This is the longer one. So it wants a hose clamp on the end. So this should be the hose that we're looking for like so that okay so first hose is routed if you look it might be hard for you guys to see but on the can there's an out and an in so the out hose it's going to be the longer of the two hoses comes out does a 90 goes under the intake over this foiled wrap thing under the you know strut brace here and then it comes up right here and then hooks on to the intake manifold right there once it clips in place it's already all locked in that side is done so the next hose it's going to go here route really close to the same spot and then it's going to go under this harness got a route or same next to that one but it's going to route underneath this so let me go ahead and get that done i'll show you once it's finished
Okay, that's it, Incel is done. So again, little tech tip, you know, just so things look uniform and clean. You know, when you do these, you know, hose clamps, make sure they're in the same orientation, I, you know, as a tech and mechanic back in those days, I used to hate like seeing things not uniform or backwards. Um, you know, it's just a small thing. Anyway, so out in the end, I just ran, comes down goes underneath the out okay and then so out underneath it's, it's really hard to tell let's see and then up under this harness and then clips back in to the passenger side of the valve cover uh, and then make sure that clip is nice and secure it's not coming off not coming off so that's it mishimoto baffled oil catch can is installed quick easy video uh it did not take me 30 minutes well it took me about 40 with the cording and stuff but that's a really fast install there you have it guys quick video hopefully you enjoyed this uh, hopefully it was helpful if you're deciding on trying to get one of these um again it's just a little preventative measure that you can do to these EcoBoost uh, direct injected engines. So, yep. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one.